This is a Bengal tiger, one of the largest wildcats in the world. Weighing nearly 300 kilos, an adult male is an intimidating beast. At two kilos, the diminutive cod cod would comfortably fit under one of his paws. Between the two extremes are another 35 species of cat, each equipped with claws and canines. At first glance, all cats seem remarkably similar in body type. But life is about compromise. If you're disguised for the jungle, you can't hide out in the open. Each cat has its strengths and its weaknesses. But those limitations are for the real world. With computer animation and a little expert help, anything is possible. These three men have very different knowledge about cats. They'll combine their expertise to turn the basic feline prototype into a super cat. They've gathered at the Institute for Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina. Here, Bhagavan Antal cares for and trains a variety of wild cats, many of which have been reared by hand. Joining Antal are Craig Sappho from the Smithsonian National Zoo and biomechanical engineer, Dr. Greg Erickson. My questions when you're asking to build a super cat are why an animal is good at what it does. So why is a leopard such a great climber? Why is a cheetah such a fast runner? Why is a lion so strong? I think if we're gonna build a super cat, we have to take an engineer's perspective and I think we have to build the model piece by piece. There are lots of questions they're going to have to answer. How will they make Supercat the best hunter, the strongest climber, the highest jumper? What adaptations will make Supercat the ultimate king of the beasts?